<laughs> what kind of friend has to say anything? <laughs> that you can't eat your cake and have it. You'd have told me since now. Is this how it is? I didn't know. Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. I know you must be wondering what she's doing with two glasses. On today's video, or in today's video rather, I have a guest and she is my friend. Like, we go way back. So let me bring her here because we're going to be toasting. And no. let me not just say, guys, you don't want to miss this video. But this is going to be interesting, emotional and all. I don't, I don't know, but let's just... Let's just get into it. So I'm going to be inviting her. Hi. Okay. So introduce yourself, Miss. Okay. Hi everyone. My name is Mrs. Chukudara Good News, and I and Chisum go way back. She has, you know, been a friend to me and also my makeup artist, you know, starting from uni, starting from my referrals. I've always referred her as the best makeup artist in Enugu, and she still has that crown. So today I am here, you know, for us to play around on my face while we talk about stuff, about, you know, our past life, you know, the journey of how we have grown and who we are today. And just so you know, when we became friends we were not married so now she's married with two kids and i'm married recently married expecting children at the right time so yeah peace out so hello guys i'm going to be taking off her hat okay her glasses show us your face so guys we are going to be like she said going to glam her up and why we talk about some stuff. So stay tuned. Oh, Okay, bottoms up. So let's share to quality glam. YouTube conversation, making up, and enjoying this video. <laughs> so let's get into it. Uh. <laughs> so guys, mm? Mm. I remember completely how we met. But I'm going to be asking Chikudera how we met. I don't know if she remember. <laughs> if you say anything that is not what it is, I'm going to cast you here. Are you like, serious? So how did you meet? Don't how worry, this you? this um means to just use on me just brought back this refreshing yes. smell of that day. It should. It so should. how did we meet? Let me hear it. We met at Inglot. Okay. Am I right? Okay. Okay. So I walk into the store and then I see this beautiful lady on a blue wig. Okay. And that's you, right? That's not how we met. That wasn't the first time we met. No. Oh we my met gosh. at that um that show we went for, that Enugu runway something. We met to Thelma Sugar at Tom Pratt Hotel. Is that not sure? Mm. And when you no. Came, no, that was no. Crazy. No. I oh, met you. I'm telling you when I met you. Okay, I don't know when, when you when met you, me. When you discovered me. Okay, when I met okay. you. No, it's like you have to say when you discovered me because like, we didn't officially meet. My phone is ringing. Ish. We didn't officially meet. Okay. Yes. Okay, maybe you discovered this beauty on the blue. You know. Chill. <laughs> <laughs> Erica is directly under my chair. Stop. Can I have a moment of peace? Can I have a moment of peace? What is happening?
going on? What is wrong? It's okay, it's okay. Stop crying, stop crying. Okay, so, like I was saying, you discovered me. But I didn't, I didn't, I didn't know you. Like, you know, I was a celebrity today. Like, yeah. yeah so. <laughs> but, so, yeah, I think we, me, I met you. Ah, oh, gosh. Well, I'm sorry, my husband. Yeah. Hello. What well, happened if you are single? Lo? Our husband is calling. Hey. <laughs> sorry for the break in transmission. If you are single, sorry. <laughs> Our husband called. Okay, so you were saying. Yeah, so I was saying that I met you or I discovered you rather at Inglot and then we spoke. And then for some reason, I don't know why, you know, I picked interest in you. I think from your blue wig, I'm like, who wears a blue wig with, right. you know, bob, twists, and, you know, black. You remember? Oh, my God. That's like four to five years ago. Yeah. So I picked interest. I was like, you okay. Oh, that's Yeah. Nice. But you were kind of mean, actually, because I was asking you a question, and then she was being all mean, and I'm like, it's just like my face. No, I'm not. It's not your face. face. You were me. Oh, you were like you were giving all attitude kind of. I'm sorry. But that was my face. It was just my yeah. face. I wasn't being. It's not your face. <laughs> I'm not a mean person. <laughs> but on that day, I understand the fact that you know when you meet someone new and all, you know, you just like. Who is this person? So I was asking a question and then, okay, I think I asked a question. I was like, I know you from somewhere. And you were like, yes, it's possible that Enugu is too small. I was like, ha, wow, wow. that's not, <laughs> that's not the kind of <laughs> answer I was expecting. <laughs> I know. But then I took it all in faith. I'm like, okay. Okay. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Ladies. Okay, so that Inglot incident was before that um that runway show, right? I think so. I don't. I don't. So both of us were no. I don't. Of us. See, let me let me let me say, let me explain to you. Okay. Remember that day I did your makeup at my little apartment. Yeah. That's my apartment. That my self contained apartment, right? Yeah. That I was saying that we've met before. We're talking about how we met at Inglot, and I said no that we met before that Inglot day. I think you were, talk, you were telling me about how mean I was to you at that Inglot day. And then we discovered that we've met before at that runway show. Oh, really? Do you remember? Mm. Yeah, I, I know I have like two children, but my brain is still active somehow. Mm. Cheers to meeting you. I don't yeah. regret it. I don't regret it either. Yeah, so I cheers. <laughs> okay, so far, what do you think about our friendship? Well, it's one of those friendships that from, you know, clients turns into friendship, you know, some makeup artists and their clients still remain clients. Yeah. But as over the year turned into, you know, friendship. I just saw this in your space and I remember it was a time, there was a time you flexed me to pierce my nose. <laughs> like I let you spend to pierce my nose. How? Oh, how did I even allow you to bless me so much? <laughs> but, but it's, 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 you know, like, just to, like yeah, yeah. But That's even, fast. even till now, it's not like you know, my journey being a Christian, I realized that, you know, piercings and all those things. I wouldn't say it's like. There's no place in the Bible where it is, you know, condemned them, yeah. because people in the past wore it. But as of then, I wore it because I felt like that was my beauty. Yeah. I felt it, it was because that was fitness. I wanted people to look at me. So at this phase in my, my life, I feel like, okay, I don't need it yeah. anymore. But even if I do, it's not now. But I, I have a piercing over here yeah. and I also have here. But then... My identity right now, I don't think it's something that I will want now. But even if you know I see someone wearing it who is a Christian, it still doesn't, you know, make the person otherwise not a Christian. Yeah. So but then, you know, 
I wanted to go as far as getting on my tongue, my yeah, belly button. I remember, I remember, you remember I even I had remember. this industrial piercing yeah. that long. So I'm just so glad that we, you know, okay, she's passed here. through that stage and now we are here. Yes. And I I, I love the, the, the women we are going into. I really do. Now we, we, we don't relate to some kind of things again like before. You know, before we just want to do makeup, take pictures, create content. Yeah. We don't know like there is there are things ahead. Ahead. We knew, yeah, but we didn't really understand. I really love this course and especially for you. I love it for you. Thank you so, so much. much. Thank so you so much. So cheers. Cheers. To <laughs> I hope you're not getting high already. Mm -hmm. It's just you've not had up to a glass. <laughs> cheers, and you're confused what you're cheers. Cheers, cheers to what? No, let's get it. We must get okay. it. Okay, cheers to what? Where we met. How okay, did yes. we meet? Yes. The first was an influence. Cheers okay. To friends. And okay. Cheers to this us. Yes. yes. Okay. Cheers to this us. I, I so love it. cheers to the women. Yes. We've become. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. I'm going to be. Every man, we are going to be. Yes, just that. Okay. <laughs> so let me even ask, what kind of friend have I been? Okay. Don't, don't filter your words. I. You know, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. Lot, I, I'm not the type say, to filter words, bruh. Let me say it as it is. I'm bulging my eyes out because I'm about to hear what I'm about to. say. Say. say it, say it. I'm a grown woman, I can take it. Okay. Erica. I was saying that Emma, can you lock the phone? No. <gasps> You were going to say something before we skipped and went off. So yeah. I'm here for it. Oh yes, baby. Okay, so the question you asked was if you have been a good friend. I'm gonna ask for what kind of friend have, have I been? been? Okay, what kind of friend have yes, you what been? Kind of friend have I been? Okay. Um what kind of friend has she seen being? <laughs> I would say that <laughs> What's so funny? Okay, he, he kept saying Fufu and rice and he likes food You have to bought Fufu and rice Go and enjoy and please leave me alone. I'm feeling. You're hungry in your tummy. What kind of friend? You're, just you're, you're hungry in your tummy. So go and meet your auntie. Okay, auntie. so. I don't want to make it all about me. Okay. But then I think it also has to do with me and you because it's like both of us. So I'd say that you have been. Because we have not really shared so much time together. I'll say that our friendship has only been in the studio. We've only had like say, you know, three outings in like five years. Yeah. And I think one was birthday. my birthday. That show we went for and which one was the last one? Yeah, and when I I had my encounter and then okay, we just casually we went, went to out, spy pictures. and take pictures so you know i think that period you getting pregnant and me you know getting involved with my life not being able to have female friends because of my experience with ladies it kind of withdrew me back from giving my all because i felt like you know you were ready to give your all but when you see the kind of energy that someone is giving you you have to relate that kind of energy back 
So truth be told, from my own side, the kind of energy that I was giving to you, I wouldn't say it was a bad energy, but I was giving an energy of like, okay, let's, you know, we can only play around in the studio, yeah. you know, but say, you know, after the studio, I went home and I'm <coughs> like, oh, Chisom, I'm home. I just called to let you know I'm home. And maybe two days later, I called to check up on you and Dynamic and Erica. You know, I'm sure that you'd have, you know, related back that energy, which even if I did not do that, times you called, you know, to check up on me, you always kept calling, but I was the one who wasn't, you know, returning that energy back. So I would say that, you know, from a distance and so and also from you know being close to me in the studio you have been an awesome friend if we are to give more space more energy you know to this relationship i think we're going to you know do a whole lot of things but we always have excuses for ourselves you know girls this i went through that i went through that and that's like an excuse but right now yeah. i'm in that era of my life where i feel that whatever i went through shouldn't make me shouldn't be an excuse for me to say oh i don't do this because people are this you understand i mean that stage where i know myself and i know that okay the fact that somebody is bad shouldn't change my energy you understand yeah. i can still be good i can still suppress whatever energy i want to regardless so so that's what i'm working on right now because i'll say that i've actually been really scared to have any female around me i try to show my you know cool side and when i feel that okay this person is coming closer to me I tend to run away. I tend to put on all this freezing and all those stuff. So you have been awesome. So far, so good. And then to make everything, to classify everything, to crown everything, you busted my head like in my wedding. I'm going to post my <laughs> wedding video soon on my Instagram page, you know very soon when i'm relaxed and everything and come on like look at chisom going everywhere around for me you can legit see her you know i paid her to come make me up but she's not running around for me like that was where i saw the true friendship that was where i saw you know you see i was just talking to my uncle a few minutes ago my cousin rather he's in the u.s so he wasn't able to come okay. you know so you know he was asking me about oh, kevin okay. and everything i told him okay since i was all alone so my wedding you know just <laughs> it was just a beautiful one whereby god made me realize that oh babe what's up oh your family day for your makeup artist your hairstylist you are shabby girls like people i didn't even know like you need to see the way everyone turned up for me especially chisum like she was just going up and down like you literally risk your life your children were not even there but you stayed back for me you even followed people you did not know back to enugu all because of me i think that's friendship enough you know i don't expect you to cut off your leg and your head <laughs> <laughs> before <laughs> it's true like deeply that's how i feel so i wish i could express myself more on how i feel so all this is just basically our shortcomings what we have passed through you know you see some sayings on instagram and they'll tell you say before you enter into a relationship if you have scars you better heal don't come and start yeah. putting whatever yeah, someone, someone else, else. makes you pass you on to someone. So if I haven't given you the right energy from past years, which I believe is not your fault, I believe that I was just being totally too careful because of what I experienced. So my wedding alone made me feel like God wanted whoever was on that ground on that day. You understand? Because... Yeah. So many people were meant to be there, but they were not there. Yeah. 
but the people who were there are meant to be in this chapter of my life and you began this chapter of my life me being a married woman so in conclusion you are a magnificent friend i can say from my full chest you know when um they're saying who is she something i'm like oh she's my friend who you know has done a lot for me i will not refer to you as a makeup artist <laughs> I refer to you as my friend. Who is a makeup artist? Who is a makeup artist? <laughs> I don't even need to put that as you know part of my friend. She's my friend. Yeah, my friend who, if I want to make up, she's there for me. I don't need anyone because she's the best in what she does. Yeah. Mm. You're gonna make me cry. You're gonna make a hard girl cry. Are you hard? I'm hard. No, I don't I'm want you to, to be hard. I don't want you to be hard because I'm not a hard girl. I'm a soft girl. Not, I'm, not, a, not. I'm a soft girl. So I don't need hardness so around me. Sometimes you try to. No, when it's when it's right, when I feel like okay, this person doesn't understand. You can see me being strict because I I feel like okay, that strictness is deserved. But my personality, I'm soft because come on, life is too short. Why should I waste it on being hard? It's still, it's still, yeah. Even that time when you're trying to be hard, you still don't look hard. <laughs> <laughs> you still don't look hard. Even on your wedding day, where you were shouting, like, is this shout? <laughs> so I was looking like shout. a clown. <laughs> I'm looking like a clown in a very beautiful dress. I'm, <laughs> I'm like, is this how to shout? Oh, you should stop okay, oh, I can no. see why I'm at. I see why you don't take me serious, right? You don't take me serious. I don't take you seriously. Well, at least I, I know. know they're going to show this thing. I know. With my husband, I say, is this how to shout? That's not how to shout. <laughs> That's not how to shout. <laughs> Well, then I know. Okay, whenever I'm serious, at least I know that. Okay, everyone knows. Oh, she's serious. Mm. Yes, but then uh, eh? you can't know when I'm serious. Then, yeah. you know that seriousness, you still see you more. Okay. <laughs> yes, exactly, exactly. So that's it. So let me, you know, you see, and um, there is this um thing on social media okay. the way that paints marriage to be really bad. I'm not an expert. Okay. I'm not an expert. I'm not. We didn't cheers. We didn't okay. cheers. Oh, my cheers to new beginning. Yeah, my drink has finished. Cheers to being intentional about this friendship because okay. I can't see much about it. Cheers. Cheers. I really do. Cheers. So there's this thing that paints um on this on 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 social media that paints marry like a like a bad thing. Okay. Like I said before, I'm not like an expert. I'm not okay. doing this marriage thing for long. I've been Four years. Oh my god, I've been married for four years. I've been married for four years! Oh my god, that's a lot. But then, I can say I. I've been married for I, five months. I have it really <laughs> beautiful. Yeah. And I will tell anybody who wants to go into it that it's a beautiful thing when you're with the right person. So, for oh, these five months that you've been married, what do you think? Guy. Like, what, I know it's not an easy for you. It's not easy, like it's not easy one bit, guys. Yeah. It's good, <laughs> it's sweet, but it's not easy. So tell me, what do you think? Like encourage my single subscribers. Okay. Scared to go into it because I know you have a beautiful marriage. I see you are yeah. the best man and I can see that. It's this is the right man. For yeah, my friend. it's not fake. I just, I just know that this is the right. You know, during that time, you know that that your guy, that one from <laughs> which one are they? Which you my know, guy? I don't know. That's like, you know, one. Know. Which one? It's not my guy. I beg. Used to be. Used to be. I don't know. Please. But you know now. They say when you say eggs, I beg which eggs. I don't understand. Which one? Which one? Yeah. Which one? Yeah. Yeah. Which one? Yeah. 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 Yeah.
that wasn't it. Okay. You understand? But that was I like this and I useful really, exorbitant. Yeah, I see this and I really say, uh, yes, this is where she should be. So what do you say? What do you, what do you think? I would say number one, God, brah. I won't lie to you. Like everything began with God. Yeah, like yes. I thought I knew it all because apparently I just wanted someone who would love me for who I am. If you had met me years ago, self, you even know that I'm not even soft now. Then I was like egg. Like, I literally had no walls because I would say if I'm any bit mean, it's the relationships I was into yeah. that made me become this person that I am, who right now I think I'm perfect. So, God did everything for me because, you know, I never knew God was real. You know, I was just doing my thing as a young girl, you know. Remember when you used to say you are? And I am what you are, and I am what you should remember. Now. I don't know. I better go. <laughs> you remember I'm now. What? what day is to call these people? Hey, oh God, there is no day. Yeah, I said I was, I was a pantheist. I said calling myself goddess of virtue. One lie. <laughs> and you know, when you go God, fire, you know, there is one thing <laughs> when you give him room, yeah, he takes the whole flat, yeah. So I was calling myself goddess of virtue. I said there was no cause and rest. Yeah. So, and all those things was because of the last relationship I had. It drove me a little bit bananas because I wasn't expecting it, you understand. So I was like, eh, can this really happen? And then because I invested all my everything in love, I was just all about love. Because I believe God, you know, creates every one of us in different ways. So, now that I have my calling and I know my purpose, yeah. and I realize that, oh, I now see why I was so much in love with every one of Or no, rather, I was lost in, because it wasn't love. I was lost in over all those people, thinking it was love, because God created me to give love to people, you understand? To make them understand that you matter. That was my purpose. So I was channeling that love to the wrong things. So knowing God, you know, after the whole pantheist and all those things, and God, you know, revealed himself to me. And then he made me understand that I have already kept all these things for you. You are just the one that is feeling that you, are, you know what you need to do for yourself. And then I handed everything over to God. And then, you know, he made me understand that, okay, because I'm the one that created you from the beginning, I already put down who will be there with you as your man, who will be there for you in every areas of your life, not who you choose. And I'm like, okay, bring him for me. I am ready. Since I understood then the meaning of marriage, I understood at that point in time that I can't do it alone because two is better than one. You can't do it alone. You need someone. Nobody's an island. So in that point in time, that's where your husband comes in. So God made me understand that each and every one of us, we have a destined person for us. So if you go and marry that person, you feel like because of probably material things or his physical or, or nature body. or all those things you yeah, end yeah, up body. after like you know five months six months everything don't quench exactly but you know meeting my husband was just a dream or more he's the first person that ever made me feel like girl i feel you you know when he had my dreams what i want to be who i want to become that was like exactly who he wants to be but he has never in his life met any girl that you know said such things so um, uh, i just don't say my marriage is sweet sir i don't know <laughs> i don't know what to say now i don't want to you know talk and talk and talk but it's sweet i'm happy it, it's, and funny enough it's not hard it's not hard because I've understood to the point to know that you can't eat your cake and have it. That men will be men. 
women will be women it's only hard if that person is not from god or if you're not close to god because god is the only person that can make those impossible things a reality because of how much my husband saw that i love god because i already have the vibe and he already have the vibe but if we had met then when maybe i was ella james ah um, well, right now we'll be in lagos in strippers club spraying cash on strippers holding their asses but now we are transferring that energy to the things of god so imagine if me and him are doing that kind of a thing definitely he'll be doing things outside there'll be a whole lot of devil will be coming but because of he met me when god wanted him to meet me that was when i became a child of god yeah. so that energy now we don't go to club do you understand yeah. instead of going to club we use it to do other things so imagine we are going to club we are in the world definitely it will you know bring up things of the world so right now we channel our energy to god you know he's channeling his energy to doing the right thing so the only thing i got to learn when i entered into the relationship is i have to submit i was seeing it in the bible as submission but i didn't know the meaning of submission so the little time before we got married we we're having just little logger heads we know that we love each other but we're now wondering why are we having issues so i found out that i am trying to be a king and a queen i'm trying to claim what is not mine and him is the king and me i suppose the ballet be a queen you see that i'm trying to claim things be you understand so ha and because of i've been responsible for myself all my life no guy has ever made me feel that meaning of love and then this man comes and makes me understand that you are a woman rest literally my husband does not even allow me go to change over generator as i'm going to be like choo choo okay Bro, I would, because i know that next thing i wanted to climb the chair and do like this so he's making me understand it's things like this that will make you challenge me because if they bring light and you tell me dear mama help me change over i will understand that i'm a queen i'm a princess so it will enter my body so i'm like oh, okay so i should not change over ha ah, please why should i stress myself i'm being on the bed when i'm pressing my phone or disturb myself and change over when i know that i can oh, if they bring light ah baby there's light can you help me change over you tell me no problem i say ah you would have told me since now is this how it is i didn't know the other people i was with they know it ah they make me feel say maybe like this so say so right now i understand so it's like we now know our territories you understand i know what to do i know what he likes so it's easy so get close to god and let him lead you yes and he will bring your person but even if he brings your person it's not like you people will still have to know each other yeah. and you have to submit and just to <laughs> beautiful marriage life <laughs> letting god in and let him lead you exactly that is not um hard okay oh. okay so guys so beautiful. So beautiful. Okay, so guys, this is the look people that I wanted. Like, literally, directed this look from start to finish. You know my vibe now. You guys know my vibe. But this, I, I am loving this. Like, I'm really vibing to this look. And this is a finished look. And I just come to the end of this video. I hope you love our makeup. You enjoyed our session. We've not done this before. There and I have not done this before. This is like of like properly hanging out, and I hope you guys enjoy it. I as enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. So let me know in the comments section <laughs> what is your take out from Chukuda. I'm going to show her all your comments. So let me know in the comment section what you take out. We've come to the end of this video. Subscribe to my channel if you're yet to give this video a thumbs up, like a very big thumbs up if you enjoyed. I know you did, so make sure you give it a very big thumbs up. Share this video with your friends, guys. Sharing is caring, so don't talk to this beautiful content alone. How can you even have this beautiful content to yourself? It's not right. So, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Check out my other videos as well. So, bye. And never forget, love is the greatest. Yes. God is real. Yes. Bye. <laughs>